I'm going to be giving a reading at chapter 2 in Chesham at 2pm on Sunday the 26th of May. So I thought I'd read some of the poems that I might read on that day. They're all from my Solstice collection. The first one's called Monsters. Unbutton your coat and sit with me a while. The world will keep turning without you spinning it. Give me your attention and tell me something you have told no one else, not even yourself. Tell me about that creature that lurks in the shadows and whispers to you just before you go to sleep at night. Release that unbearable tension that he holds over you and give him to me. Let me unburden you. He can sit with the monsters I liberated from my shadow, the ones that have started to dissolve in the light. Come and sit down with me. Tell me of your sorrows. And I will tell you of my love for you. The hard frosts have gone, and now it is raining. Rows of drips hang on branches in place of buds. Windscreen wipers are on all the time, and dog walkers hunch their shoulders and pull up their collars. Dead stalks wave in the breeze, stirring the air like soup in a pot. The sky has been painted with undercoat and no one has decided what colour it should be when it's finished. And then a neighbour walks by. Quick steps, no coat, looks up and waves. And suddenly there is a connection, meaning, focus and hello. There are times when I want to slip into the cool, wet, breezy, unfinished morning, to float on the puddles, to hang from a branch, to dissolve into the blank sky. But I need my neighbour's wave. And when he does, part of me responds that doesn't otherwise exist. I wave back and awake, my day begins. The muse came calling last night. She was drunk. She gave me a song full of cursing and tears. Nothing that can't be cured by a listening friend and a couple of beers. Still, she woke me up at quarter to three, so don't expect too much meaning from me. The next one's called This Old House is drafty and cold. This old house is drafty and cold. It is dark all year round. The stairs are steep and hard to climb. And it is where I am at my time of life. I have a desk in the window and a fire in the grate. I fly to this window seeking natural light like some kind of moth. And when I'm here, I pick up my pen and write that I am here. Like a young lover with a penknife in the woods, carving a heart in the bark with two sets of initials, because he knows that if you write it, it is so. And so I come to this desk at this window to write that I am here. Here in this dark, drafty house at my time of life. The rain has been falling all night, God's tears for a dark world. Kidnapped Africans crammed below decks while the captain discusses grace. Gods turn away 
and despairs of his lost children, fighting in the night over who should have a few miles of land. Of who said what to whom, heads down, yammering over screens, unaware that the rain is falling, and it is always falling. And finally, this is winter solstice. Winter solstice, and the night wraps its arms around the day and brings quiet and still. A moment's pause. Slow down. Be still. Let go. Exhale. Not forever, just for now. Every other day is going somewhere, getting longer, getting shorter, on a journey. Today, just for this moment, you have arrived. So be still. Lean against the frame of the door and look up at the night sky, lose yourself in the stars. Tomorrow we'll have enough cares for all of us, but for now, you are one of those stars. Allow yourself a moment to shine.